Founded 100 years ago in the Italian city of Bologna, Maserati has had both a tumultuous and illustrious history. Undoubtedly producing some of the world's finest racing cars, its road cars have always embodied the heritage and passion that was instilled by the Maserati brothers a century ago. In celebration of this, we drove a Maserati Grand Sport, the final and most dynamic incarnation of the 4200 GT, hoping to sample some of the spirit that has made its cars so famous throughout the last century. Grand Sport packs a naturally aspirated 4.2 litre V8, giving you 396 brake horsepower and a healthy 333 pounds feet of torque. All that power is sent to the rear wheels via a 6 speed semi automatic paddle shift transmission, altogether allowing the Maserati to sprint to 62 miles per hour on a swift 4.8 seconds before angrily climbing to a hefty top speed of 180 miles per hour. The 11 brake horsepower hike over the 4200 GT was achieved through improvements to the engine's intake manifolds and valve seats. A different exhaust system was also added, which utilises new back boxes to help reduce pressure. Uh, in sport mode, it allows the butterfly valves and the exhaust to remain open at all times. Uh, now this provides us with a beautiful beautiful sonorous almost crackly uh, exhaust note especially on the overrun and those downshifts just like that beautiful sound this is the adaptive suspension what that actually means is a uh, computer inside the car along with six accelerometers is actually measuring input from the driver but also reading the road. And then it's adjusting you know, each individual damper uh, on the fly, 40 times per second, uh, which obviously allows the car to be much more compliant over whatever kind of road, road you're driving on. The Grand Sport impressed most with its Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality. Its ability to tackle the mundane trundle through daily traffic, or reach maximum attack through the serpentine bends that make up some of our favourite roads all are being serenaded by the free revving intoxicating V8 that sits up front. Keep the engine singing between 4000 RPM and the red line and revel in the car's responsive steering as its dynamic composure inspires you to explore the upper limits of adhesion with the road. Now the steering is it's obviously it's hydraulic, very well weighted. You always know where the nose of the car is going to be. You can feel uh, if there's going to be any understeer and there's, there's not. Uh, oversteer, you know, that's another matter, I mean, around here, it, it takes a lot to actually uh, get the rear end of the car to, to actually step out. 3200 GT and 4200 GT was originally uh, criticised uh, for, you know, the gearbox, the Cambio Corsa gearbox, uh, for being, you know, dim-witted, slow, jerky, uh, <laughs> to name a few things. But uh, with this, gear shifts in sport mode are 35% faster, pull on the right paddle, you're in the next gear. Many people are quick to draw comparisons between the Grand Sports engine and that in the Ferrari F430. Apart from the block, there really isn't much tying the two engines together. This can also be said for the Maserati engineer's objectives when creating the Grand Sport. It wasn't supposed to be a stripped out road racer like the 360 Challenge Stradale from Maranello, but a finely honed 2 plus 2 GT that could blast across European motorways. And as you wound deeper into the Alpine passes, it would reveal to you its taut and balanced handling, blended with feelsome steering and a composed chassis. The Maserati Grand Sport is a sportier and edgier alternative to the 4200 GT upon which it is based. Subtle design changes, such as the deeper and more menacing front grille, draw your eye towards the extended front lip. These 19 inch mercury gray Trofeo alloy wheels are on lower profile tyres and attached to lower and stiffer suspension. These surfboard side sills, along with the understated carbon rear spoiler and extended rear bumper, aid with aerodynamics, bringing the drag coefficient down to a slippery 0.33, the same as a Lamborghini Murcielago. The luxury coupe was originally styled by Atal Design, whose head and founder, Mr. Gagario, has previously styled, among others, the Ghibli, Bora and Marac. The Grand Sport was overseen by Maserati and Ferrari chief designer Frank Stephenson, who lended the car additional and subtle styling tweaks. The four-seater GT has never looked better, 
a sublime power unit wrapped in a taut Italian tailored suit, exuding both menace and a sharp stance. The Grand Sport was the final celebration of the Maserati Coupe's evolution, and it should be celebrated. It brings every component together beautifully. Yes, the auto mode on the gearbox is rubbish, and it can be a little lethargic sometimes in general. The engine could also use some more torque lower down in the rev range, but these shortcomings do not detract from the final package. It was fantastic to be able to sample a naturally aspirated V8 from Maserati's first centenary. I hope that the next 100 years can bring us as many brilliant vehicles that celebrate their excellence through passion.